Hi everybody, I hope you and your families are all keeping healthy um, but also sane during these, these very strange times. Um, thank you for all of the amazing videos for you, uh, you all made as part of your macromolecules independent investigation. Um, there are some tremendous videos out there that some of the editing skills you all showed um, have really put me to shame. I'm quite embarrassed, frankly, to be making this video, um, which can't possibly live up to the things that you've all, you've all produced and posted uh, on the internet. Um, in this video, what we're going to do is um, give some awards for what I judge to be the, the best videos. Um, but really, there's a um, all of you did a fantastic job. I was really impressed by the, the standard of the video, not only the presentation, but also the science behind it, um, and especially the way in which you all really engaged in the goal of trying to engage with A-level students, and, and you didn't aim your videos at too high a level um, without dumbing them down too much. I, I was really impressed with that. Um, so in classic um, TV show style, trying to build up some tension, we'll, we'll start in reverse order um, and first off I want to start with a few honourable mentions for videos which um, don't get prizes but I was really impressed with. First up we have Megan Goss uh, who recorded a video almost entirely on the beach and it might just be me going uh, a little stir crazy but I enjoyed seeing the waves splashing up on the sand but also the way in which you used the, the beach to demonstrate some of the key principles behind polymerization mechanisms chain growth and step growth. Chain growth is a mechanism that adds monomers one by one from a starting point. In this demonstration the blue circle represents an initiator molecule that starts the polymerization process. From this starting point monomers are added one at a time to the chain. Next up, a special mention to Hannah Chowdhury, who I thought did a really good job of explaining a really complex topic of Ziegler Natter catalysis um, in a really clear and concise way that was really well aimed at A level students. So well done, Hannah. An example of a Ziegler Natter catalyst is titanium chloride with an aluminium alkyl halide. On reaction with the aluminium alkyl halide, the aluminium compound donates an ethyl group to the titanium, and the titanium loses a chlorine atom. It is left with an empty orbital which is filled by the incoming alkene monomer. And then finally in the special mentions, uh, Claudia Clark, where you did a really good job of um, presenting a video where you're talking at the camera, which, as I'm demonstrating now, uh, is a really difficult thing to do, but you managed to keep, your, um, keep the audience focused um, while still also having some really nice editing as you went along as well. Polymers fall into two general categories natural polymers such as DNA and proteins and synthetic polymers like Teflon and rubber. Both types are widely used in clothing and in the wider So without further ado on to the prizes um, and starting with third prize this goes to Stefan Jensen for his video on polymers in music and I really liked the video that Stefan put together firstly because of the interesting way he used to present some of the science as he went along but also because it was really nicely edited it was really nicely um, engaging um, with the audience um, and yeah well done Stefan a really good video CDs contain a hard plastic outer layer made from polycarbonate which is very strong as demonstrated Polycarbonate was originally made from the two monomers phosgene and bisphenol A. They're a step growth polymerization just like the PET polymer. First, the bisphenol is treated with sodium hydroxide which deprotonates the molecule. This then reacts with the phosgene to produce polycarbonate. Second prize goes to Greg Yule for his video on polymers in badminton. Now a lot of really good aspects of this video. Firstly, there were the videos and the music that were playing along that made the video really engaging, but I also thought he presented the science in a really, really clear, really concise manner that was really well aimed at A-level students. And the way he presented the video throughout was of a, a really high quality, so um, great job, I really enjoyed your video. Uh, 
Class Nylon Shuttles have a thin nylon skirt to remain lightweight, which sacrifices the rigidity leading to a longer wobble, making the shuttle more unpredictable and react less well to good technique. This is why Feather Shuttles are preferred by professionals. So how is the nylon produced? The condensation polymerization of the monomer 11 amino undecanoic acid is a step growth polymerization that gives nylon 11 as the product. And finally, the moment I'm sure you've all been waiting for all term, the announcement of the first prize. Uh, and that goes to Heidi Pearson for her video on polymers in nanomedicine. Now, Heidi's video is a little bit different. It focused on um, drawings which she was doing on a piece of paper. And that's really difficult to do uh, or difficult to do well. Um, but I thought she did a fantastic job of making her, her drawings really colourful, really engaging, really clear. Um, and I particularly liked the way she described a really complex area of science, and that's, that's nanomedicine and drug delivery, in a really concise way um, that was clearly understandable to A-level students. So well done, Heidi, uh, a fantastic um, video, uh, and you get the first prize for, for this year's, this year's um, course. I require dosages of anti-cancer drugs for efficient treatment. This effect on healthy cells can be drastic, causing awful side effects. The recent development of polymeric missiles in the delivery of anti-cancer drugs can tackle this issue. Polymeric missiles consist of two main parts, a hydrophobic core which holds the poorly water-soluble drug and a hydrophilic shell which allows the drug to be soluble in the blood and prevents detection of the drug by the immune system. These favourable properties are achieved by using block copolymers to form polymeric missiles. Block copolymers are formed by combining two or more different monomers in a single polymerization to produce one polymer with precisely defined segments of each monomer. So well done to all our prize winners. Also well done to all of the rest of you who submitted um, videos. I was really impressed by the standard of the videos. Um, I'm really proud of the work that you all produced. Um, and also well done to all of you who wrote um, written articles as well. They were also a really, really good standard. Um, and I was really enjoyed reading all of those as well. So that's all from me for now. Um, look forward to seeing you uh, all soon. Um, and good luck for the rest of the term. Bye for now.